Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you a mill analysis video. Now, today's analysis will be when we played Wigan away from home. The game did end up 2 all, and unfortunately, we did not get the win, which we were so close to getting, but a mistake by the goalkeeper meant that we didn't get the three points. So that was quite unfortunate. Not so much happened in the first half, but it pretty much was all Wigan. Now I'm going to quickly say what happened. There wasn't too many things, so it's quick to go over. Now Rhys James, I think he's the left back for Wigan. He played really well in the first half. Or it looked like that in the highlights. He was dominating us when he went forward. And also their player Michael Jacobs. He looked fantastic in the first half as well. But also something that happened with Michael Jacobs was that he went down in the area. Now it could have been a penalty. It was quite a good penalty shout to be honest. But I think he went down a bit too easy. And that's probably why the penalty was given. Now we're moving on to the second half. Now, they did score through Michael Jacobs. Williams lost the ball, unfortunately. And it ended up at Michael Jacobs' feet. And he just basically threaded the ball into the bottom right corner. It's a pretty decent goal. He may have mishit it a little bit. But it still went in the back of the net. And it made it 1-0 to Wigan. And unfortunately, we were on the back foot. Which we have been for quite a lot this season. Now, of course, we have been behind quite a lot this season, so we've had to use a lot of initiative and try and break down the team. And, well, it kind of worked. We kind of did get back in the game, and we did score a goal. Now, Sean Williams, he threaded the ball to Jimmy Abdu. Unfortunately, Abdu couldn't have complete control and score a half volley like he did in the last game, but he did lose control, and it dropped to Fred, and Fred put it in the back of net. It was a right poacher finish, and it was a great goal, and then we did, of course, equalise and make it 1-0, and that was brilliant because at least we wasn't losing at that point. Now, the great thing is, we did score again. Now, this goal happened from a corner. Williams crossed the ball into the area. Now, what happened here was, Webster headed the ball down, it got cleared off the line, and then Mark Beaver somehow turned the ball into the back of the net, but it came off the crossbar and went in, and it did just about go in. And that meant that we were winning the game 2-1. It was really really good at that point we could definitely go on and win the game well you would have thought that but unfortunately that wasn't the case and yet again we dropped points but gotta say it's not the worst thing to drop points against Wigan they are a good team just like us and sometimes these things happen and it was actually the first big mistake that Archer made so what happened was the ball was crossed into the area then Archer went to punch the ball and basically completely missed the ball which meant that Will Grigg, their striker, could put the ball into the net. Despite the amount of defenders we had on the line, I don't know how he turned it in. It's pretty good and pretty impressive, to say the least. Now, that was really upsetting for me because I haven't really had to say anything negative about Archer up until this point. But he maybe could have tried a little bit better and maybe could have tried to catch that instead of trying to punch it. Because that's what led to the goal. Anyway, let's talk about the two players that were really good. One from each team. Now, with Millwall, I'm going to have to say Mark Beavers. He's a good defender, and he works really well with Byron Webster. And he did, of course, score that goal that did give us the lead at the time. Now, with Wigan, I'm going to have to say Michael Jacobs. He looked a real great force in the first half. He played fantastic, and in the second half, he still was popping up and doing the damage. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Now, before you go, why not check out the Millwall Analysis playlist? Now, it is for every single Millwall game that's been so far this season. That does include the League Cup game against Barnet and the Johnson's Paint Trophy game against Peterborough. Now, I have been doing this this entire season. So, every video is there. You can go check that out. Hopefully, you will like that playlist as much as you like this video. So, anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.